welcome back to Cross Stitch the Globe. I'm Stephanie. I'm Allison. And this is a channel about cross stitch. Uh, now, uh, earring check. One. Makeup check. Do I have any crazy nope, makeup on? Good. We good. find so many funny things in our videos after we filmed for two hours. So mm -hmm. just do a little check. Um, okay, so we have three kinds of videos on our channel. Today is a floss tube where we're going to go through all of our personal stitching, our stitching plans. Um, thank yous to people who were like kind to us, things like that. Uh, our next tutorial, which are short videos that we're making for beginner stitchers, um, for people who buy from our Etsy shop, but also just for anyone on YouTube, um, that next topic is going to be the best fabric for full coverage. So would you prefer linen, even weave or Ada for full coverage, the pros and cons of all of them. And then next Monday we're doing, um, we already filmed it, but it's uh, the next big extra, which comes out in between our floss tubes, is going to be um, our plans for Mira May or Mirabilia May. I'm so excited about And we filmed it. Allison has, is going to start her first Mirabilia. She yeah. talks all about it. I do um, a mini, uh, like a whip parade of my current Mirabilia whips and talk about my plans. So I'm excited for that video to come out. It's funny because like, since we filmed that, I've been wanting to stitch on all of them, but I'm like, no, that's for May. So I'm <laughs> kidding up mine slowly and I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm waiting um, for stuff to come in. But other than that, I think I've, I've got it's it. It's the slowest you probably ever kid in anything. I like, mean, cause I normally just can run to the store, but now I have to go online <laughs> and actually do the, the whole, Chronic from here and floss from here. And well, and you, from here. You're, you intend to finish it yours this year, so I like don't buy that stuff because I'm like, oh, in 2025 when I need the chronic, I'll get it. No, I got I got the chronic, I got the beads. I'm gonna do this this year. It's gonna be amazing. That's so exciting. Yay. So that'll come out uh, a week from when you're seeing this because we film on Sundays, and then they are gonna <coughs> come out on Mondays and Thursdays. All right, so. Um, you saw the title, so you know that we're going to do our big 3K subscriber celebration at the end of the video. So stick around for that. Um, but we're going to start with um, mentions. So these are people who were really kind enough to like mention us on their channel and suggest people watch our videos. And there were a few this week. So um, I'm not, I'm going to, I'm just going to kind of go through these kind of fast. I do okay. like to gush about each one and I'm not going to be able to really do that today. So, um, but the first one is Karen from KBH Stitches who watched our most expensive kits video and pulled out her Gecko Rouge. Mm -hmm. And did you watch it? Yes, I did. She's got, um, I won't spoil it. Go no, watch go her. Watch it. Go yeah. watch her most recent floss tube. And she pulls out and talks about her plans to work on her uh, Gecko Rouge that she, like, she was like, oh, I just watched this most expensive kits video. And I have, she doesn't have the ones we specifically mentioned, but she has adjacent yeah. ones. She's like, I should and not, probably. Yeah, the ones that should be, in my opinion, should be that expensive because of the massive amount of, materials you need <laughs> in order to cover this um well the woman crafts tara she talked about how i'm, I'm stitching an al forest like cyrillic sampler to commemorate the time that i lived in eastern europe and she has a partner who is whose family is also from eastern europe so she's gonna work on a cyrillic sampler and so um it was really cool and interesting watching that her you had that up. connection yeah like so That's random so like, random and i love it we're That's... in oklahoma she's in georgia and yeah. it's like but like we're both gonna stitch these like Eastern European sure. and alphabet samplers sure. uh, because we both have personal connections too. Then Kat from Wicked Cat Stitch, who is new, um, sent us some like really kind things about us on her last video. And if you like Halloween, if you are like a Halloween all year kind of person, she should be on your watch list because she is. She went into it last time, but she's like, I don't stitch other seasons. <laughs> <laughs> And then, Which um, is awesome. official Mermaid's Co. who was new floss tube to me, but then I she mentioned us on her not her most recent but the one before that, and then I watched her most recent one too. And she is um films mostly like with a overhead view. It's and so if you like just seeing the projects and like really getting into the projects, like she gives you such good, yeah, like focus on the actual stitching, which is really cool. Stitching on the side also has that angle where you're just seeing. Some people think that's the most important thing. <laughs> it's like, mm, mm, is sometimes. It? But yes, it is fun to watch that. It is like, it's, yeah. it's, um, because I think as a stitcher, sometimes I get like, oh, my stitches look so much worse than other people's stitches. And because like from far away, stitching yeah. looks great. It's fun to see up close. That was really fun to watch. Yeah. Um, 
I'm not cross, I'm stitching. Said some really sweet things. Um, Mrs. Stitches, uh, the Diddy Stitcher. The Diddy Stitcher, was um, nice. which was really fun because I watch her. Uh, and she's like, do you have some people you watch in the morning and some people you always watch at night? Uh, no. I So because okay. I watch a lot of Floss Tube in the mornings when my kids are running around. Um, and then I watch it at night. Um, and then like, you know, in the middle, I go work. Mm -hmm. Um, I ha like the Diddy sister, someone, because of the time that she puts up her videos in England, I always watch her in the mornings. And so like, I always, and she's got like a very calm voice and she's like by herself talking mm -hmm. calmly with this like beautiful, beautiful background. background, like her yeah. background is stunning. And so I think of her as like a morning, like floss tube. <laughs> and so I saw her, the first time I noticed her floss tube was like at night. I was like, well, I'm saving that for the morning. And then when I watched it, um, she talks about some duos and how she really likes listening to duos because I, I've, um, I've done podcasts where I was the only person I've done podcasts with another person and it is way harder to do one by yourself. Like, so just imagine. to everyone yeah. who does it by themselves, it is way harder. It, I, we see you, we know it is hard. It is hard. To, <laughs> um, but also when you watch duos, sometimes you can just like feel like you're in a room and people are chit chatting and it's like very nice. Um, and it kind of doesn't even matter what they're always talking about. Mm -hmm. So she talked about three duos that she recommended and one which I wasn't watching yet. Um, one which we will mention many times in this video and one I wasn't watching yet. So that was cool. Um, Bridges Get Stitches, who she made a joke that's like, now we're just mentioning each other back and forth. <laughs> but her channel's great and she's going to do a sal for candy, which I'm not showing today, but I am working on. It's the free fancy lady from Whittier Stitches. And I which, finished the cat of Candy. Yeah. Candy's cat, Tristan. So if you've been watching our channel and seeing Candy pop up every once in a while and being like, oh, I really like her, but you weren't like inspired to start her yet. Um, Bridges Get Stitches, and I can't remember her partner, somebody yeah. else. They're hosting a sal for it that's going to start soon. So go check her out. Um, Maria the Green Stitcher. I had already watched her video before she commented on our videos yeah. and was like, oh, I love your guys' channel. And I was like, when I saw her ch video, before she said anything else, I was like, oh, this girl is a good stitcher. <laughs> like, her stuff is good. And so for her to like our channel was like, felt really nice. So thank you, Maria. Because like, you know, sometimes you just see somebody you're like, oh, like they're a new floss too, but you can tell they're an experienced oh, absolutely. stitcher. Absolutely. Um, Stephanie from Frawl and Knits, who was talking about our patterns and I left a comment, but I have not been to Norway, but in the shop section, we'll talk more about like, she was like, maybe you could get something up from Norway. And it's like, I've never been to Norway. <laughs> and right now I can't afford to go to Norway. I've been to other, I've been to other places, but um, a couple people have asked me for like specific places. So in the shop section towards the end, we'll talk about that. Um, but uh, I love Stephanie from Fallen It's channel. She does not cover a ton of knitting. If you're like, oh, that must be a knitting <laughs> channel. It's like, she's, it's more cross stitch right now than knitting, but um, she's definitely like a multi-crafter and she lives in like Eastern, Eastern Canada. Um, she lives uh, so far east in Canada that she's an hour ahead of New York. Um, and uh, we're in, <coughs> we're in our, she's in our secret cell. Yeah. And then the last one is the Busy Mom Stitcher who said some really nice things and recommended our channel. So thank, thank you. you so much. And then um, a couple other people mentioned us, but like for specific things. So Laura from Lolity Stitches and Jacintha from Crafting on the Plains both mentioned yeah. our channel in reference to like Mirabilia or Nora, Nora Corbett stitching. And um, so, uh, cause they're like, they're both like Nora and Mira stitchers, not like exclusively or anything, but like, and we're not exclusively either, but have a love for that. And um, so uh, Jacintha is stitching Moonglow, which I show in the parade. And then Laura had said like, was talking about her Mira May plans. So go check both of them out if you like fancy ladies. And then um, Jacintha is also from Oklahoma and that leads me to the last one, which is the Oki Stitcher on her last video tagged a bunch of Oklahoma stitchers and is like trying to build up the Oklahoma floss tube stitching community. So go check out her last video, especially if you want to, if you're from Oklahoma, which you know, not most of you are, but some of you are, um, and you want to see a list of like, Sorry. <laughs> you want to see a list of like Oklahoma stitchers who you might be like interested in following. Um, so that is the Okie Stitcher. And I, I, anybody we mentioned today, any shop, 
It's tagged. We list all the pattern names by, and all the designers. So in the description, you'll find all of that information. All right. Now we got some congrats, which yeah. congratulations are where we, if somebody, if we're watching a philosophy where we're seeing on Instagram, somebody like celebrating themselves and we just want to like amplify that. Um, and then also if you know anyone you want to congratulate, like you can send it to us and we'll read it on our next floss tube. So, um, Michaela from cinema. So these are all people who celebrated floss tube anniversaries either on their last video or on their next one. They will be Michaela from cinematic stitches, uh, Tina from 14 count Ada girl, uh, Mrs. Smith stitches, Caroline from Caroline stitch corner and, uh, Megan, the Seattle stitcher. And they're all celebrating either their first or second one. And considering how like, some of these are like channels I, I mean, I love all of those. I love Everything all of those you channels. Said are my go-tos. <laughs> if I see you've posted one, I will watch yeah. it. So, congratulations. That's so wonderful. <laughs> and then we've got some birthdays. Uh, the New England Stitcher, Emily C. Lunar from Lunar Witch Stitchery, uh, Tara Sullivan from Sully Stitches, Hannah from Microbiology Makes, and Julie from Running with Scissors with Jane and, Running with Jane. And, I always know. It, they're Jane and Julie. I mean, they're the Jane and Julie. But running with scissors with Jane and Julie. Stitching with Jane and Julie. Stitching with Jane and Julie, yes. They're tacked, but also you're probably already watching them. Um, but they all had birthdays, and so congratulations. And we just love this community. We love all the friends we've met. We're, like, shocked that six months in, like, how many people we talk to, like, every on a day. daily or yeah, weekly every basis. Day. Um. When we started it, we knew like, oh, this will be a fun way to like get even closer with my sister. But like, I didn't really think like, oh, and I'll have friends in like 10 countries that I've never met before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, all right. So let's get into our stitching. Yay. Do you have any FFOs? I have no FFOs. An FFO is a fully finished object. Do you have any FFOs? Well, Allison, I do. I actually posted this on Instagram already, so it feels a little anticlimactic. <laughs> that was my most um, popular Instagram post like ever. Oh, really? People really liked it, so um, it was, I it was fantastic. It, I feel I was really proud, I was really proud of it. Um, but we filmed when we filmed our extras last week. It was before I'd given it away as a gift, so I'm gonna pop in the discussion of what that FFO is now. Do you have any FFOs? I do. Past Stephanie did have an FFO, <laughs> which I probably already explained to you guys. Oh, this is like very close. Is um. Oh my gosh, it looks it's so on its way good. To Kansas City, but the part of the so last time I told told you guys, I want to do a gift for my sister, our other sister, because her and her um, boyfriend were coming down for Easter weekend and throwing like a seafood lobster festival. Literally, lo lo lobsters got delivered like to our live house lobsters. this morning for tomorrow. Um, so because that's like they get them flown in from Maine because he's from New Hampshire, and so this is like it's very important and fun for him to have like introduce you know, us Midwesterners and not that I haven't lived on the East coast, but, um, to lobster and like the way that he grew up doing it. So we're going to do that tomorrow. And so I'm going to give her this, well them, cause they live together, give them this gift. And so what I did was I took, um, I just wanted this lobster from the summer Quaker border. Like I was, that's in my head. I just wanted this guy yeah. and I wanted some of this blue because in my head, those are the two best things about summer Quaker mm -hmm. or iconic, I guess not best, yeah. but. So, stitched this, then, like, kind of measured where it would all go, and then put him on the, like, cross, like, one-third in, mm -hmm. and then just filled random it other motifs. It looks so good. It looks so good. And I've now stitched almost 5% of Summer Quaker. Oh, <laughs> So, it's like, okay, so when I do start it, and yes. I don't even get to 5% <laughs> this year, like, but, um, and then I laced it myself. The back can never be opened and no eye should ever see what the lacing looks oh, like. But sure. this is a frame I got at Goodwill for like two or three dollars. And it's not old. So you can see it. It's not an old frame, but it has that like classic look. I think it, it looks, looks so, so cool. good. Yeah, it looks so good. I'm like, this is the first time I've laced anything. It's like, I, you know, you know how few FFOs. <laughs> we so have few FFOs. To, ha to go from like start to FFO in six days is like... <laughs> That's a record, right? It's on um, 28 count antique white from Zweigart linen. And when I stitch Summer Quaker, I'll probably stitch it. I don't know what the dimensions of it are, so I don't know if I need to stitch it on a 40. I'm, I'd prefer to stitch it on a 36 or a 32, but if it needs to be a 40 to fit on a fat quarter, then that's what will happen. Oh, really? But I don't know what the dimensions of it are. Okay. So I have some beautiful, I think it's called attic lace. 
but I have a Lake Side Linen that's white that's like a little bit softer than this and I have it in um I want to say 40 and 32 but 32 will obviously go faster and I kind of love how colorful it is. And you'll be able is. to see it better so you can stitch it yeah. different times. But if it only fits on a fat quarter at 40, I'm not going to buy a half yard of something. And I can't get that fabric again. So okay. anyway, that's for a problem for another day. But yeah. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. So that this is being great. gifted tomorrow. And then we're recording our next floss tube like in like nine days. So yeah, this will be long gone by then. But <laughs> yay, my FFO. I'm so proud of you. That looks great. I love it. I'm obsessed. I put it by the TV last night just so I could enjoy one day of yeah. looking at it before. Because I've also like never gifted my stitching. This is the first time I like did oh, yeah. something for someone where I was not going to get to keep it, which did make me like it more because then I was like, I had a little FOMO that like I wasn't going to get to keep it. So when I got it all done, I was like, well, I'm going to enjoy it tonight. Aww. But I love making gifts with cool. I got to take some photos of it today so that next week after she gets it, I can post it on Instagram. Yeah. Cool. But my FFO. Summer quick like motifs from Summer Quaker's border. <laughs> not like not an FFO of Summer Quaker. That would be quite it's, it's a little different. bit larger. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> back to the normal floss tube. <laughs> and we're back. Yay! <laughs> okay. Allison. Yes. Do you have any finishes? I do. I have a finish. Ooh. All now, right. if you read the title, we both have like a finish that we're very proud of that are part of some of our stitch alongs. So, Allison, what did you finish? Okay, I finished Alice in Wonderland Tree ah! by Tiny Modernist for the Tiny Alice Sal. Hashtag Tiny Alice Sal with cross. Allison host is hosting it with Cross Stitch Couture. She doesn't have a floss tube, but she she might in the future. But right, right now, she has a great she Instagram account Instagram. that we will um, link to in the description. Yeah. And keep tagging us, even if you're stitching it in two years with the oh hashtag. yeah absolutely i i got addicted to stitching this and i just went for it it's like all she stitched uh, you will see i have very few things to show today because this is what i did in march this came out at market you started this a month ago yeah yes. and you restarted it after From march 8th which was the original start and she had stitched all of this and then had to restart it yeah that was a thing let's not talk about that so so it looks amazing. Did. I can't wait to see this on display at the state fair. Oh, yeah. That's scary. Um, <laughs> it's stitched on 16 count. Um, all the call for DMC. Stitching count. Touch of gray. It's a one shult Ada. Just so fun and easy to stitch on. Alice in Wonderland Tree by the Tiny Modernist mm -hmm. is the name of the pattern. Yep. Oh, it's so good. So you don't even know to show the pattern because you already just less than a month. Yep. Yeah. Oh my god, it's so good. And like their their expressions and stuff might be a little bit jarring. I used two <laughs> strands of thread on the. I think the queens on is the, the one that's yeah. Like really I funny. used two strands to back stitch <laughs> versus one. I don't know. I, I don't, don't like, like stitch. I don't like back stitching with one. It's yeah. Okay. I only like back stitch with two. Maybe if I have a specific. It just, to me, it always feels flimsy. Yeah. It doesn't, and it, I feel like it doesn't lay like two strands lay. It's, yeah. It kind of pops off the fabric. Yeah, that's bit. my issue with it too. Yeah. So they're a little bit, a little bit cray cray, but I don't care. That's fine. I love it. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. So that's what I did for most of the last month. That's so exciting. Thanks. All right. Do you have any finishes? I do. Yay. Okay, so I didn't start this for the sal, but I did include it in the sal because I thought originally I was going to have it finished before the sal started. Then I realized, no, that was not even close to possible, and I don't know what I was thinking. But here is um, Yellow Summary. Yay. It's part of the – I'm hosting the Fab Four Fan Sal with um, Julie from Julie and Stitches 16. And that sal is for people who want to stitch uh, the Blackbird Beatles pattern, which is a series of six Beatles patterns by Blackbird Designs or any Beatles pattern. So if there's another one you want, do it. And then I'm also stitching this as a part of Sarah Stitchy Spots and her friend Peg's um, Blackbird Designs Magical Mystery Tour sal, which is just for these six patterns. And both of those hashtags have like popped up at some point during this discussion. Mm -hmm. I finished, okay, so this is on 28 count. Through the Stones by Bestitch Me, which I just love. Like, some of the things ghost on it a little bit, uh, 
more on camera than in more person. More on camera, yeah. But in the picture, the ghost on the call for too, so that doesn't really stress me out at all. But oh my gosh, I love it. I just I wasn't supposed to finish it this week, and I just was like, you know what, I'm finishing it. Partly because um, I wanted his project bag for something else, okay. and I was like, well, if it, if I finish it, then I don't have yeah. to, they don't have to share. It. Absolutely. <laughs> That sounds like a good I did this with all the Call for General Arts. And I was <coughs> so close to being done. And then I realized I had put this flower in the entire wrong spot. And I had messed it up entirely. And so it took me an extra night because I had to move this flower over. Like, it was centering under this. And, so oh, it, and then I was also half a stitch off. So there's only half a stitch between the bottom of the wave and the top of the flower and it looked insane. Oh. And so it was, I would normally just fudge it, but it really was like, no, let me get it right. And there are a couple places where I was thinking at first, like, oh, there's no mistakes in this. This will be cool. Like there are mistakes, but I don't know of any mistakes. I was, was going to say there were mistakes. I was like, oh, wait a minute. Like in here, these are all half a stitch off. Okay. The first two are half a stitch off. And so I had to make the third one a half a stitch off to like compensate. And there are a few other places where there's little things, but for the most part, not tons of major stuff. Oh, I love it so much. It's really good. I showed my, so I started stitching this. I talked about this when I started it, but I started stitching this because last year my son's favorite song was Yellow Submarine. We would sing it on the way to school every day. He wouldn't sing it for anyone else, just me. Um, and then, um, I, we did it so much that on uh, the, my end of year Spotify wrapped, well, Yellow Submarine was my number one most listened to song for the year. Now, I'm glad I went ahead and did that because I thought it would be for this year too, but then Cowboy yep. Carter came out. And Nobody now, fanboys like a four year old. Yeah, so. Yeah. But now Cowboy Carter came out, which okay. also, I actually like it's so funny because one of the other patterns is Blackbird, and Cowboy Carter has a Blackbird cover. And not only is it a cover of Blackbird that Paul McCartney like, blessed but they gave her the original backing track to use so that like very acoustic -y, like reverby like tempo of the song of the original is in the cover too and also the original he wrote it during because he was seeing the civil rights movement seeing how people were treating like black women when they were trying to like integrate mm -hmm. and black bird bird is a english slang for woman so Everyone should feel how they feel about it. Everyone has personal memories attached to it that are not like civil rights struggle memories. But he wrote it about black women in the civil war or in the civil rights era. And so Beyonce covering it is like very meaningful and very powerful. And then he came out with a statement about how much he loves it and like nice. loves her. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't going to start another one because I'm working on Strawberry Fields Forever for the cell too. And I was just like, well, I'll finish that one. But... I think as a treat to myself, when I finish the secret project that I'm working on, I'm going to start Blackbird and I'm going to try, I, I asked on Instagram, um, and here are Instagram accounts again. I asked on Instagram, um, if people had ideas of how I could like subtly incorporate like a Beyonce reference. And some of them were really clever, but, um, I think I want like a really subtle reference. And I think what I'm going to do is incorporate the Roman numeral two because the title of the Beyonce one she did all of the eyes as like the Roman numeral two in the stylization of the name. So instead okay. of, it's like, so it looks funny, but like, if you don't know what That's I'm talking just about. It's very obscure. Yeah. It's, um, uh, so anyway, so I, so that'll be for me. Okay. And then I might try to, if I, I have like a goldish fabric, I signed up for a giveaway for a yellow fabric. If I actually win that one, um, that would be like a sign from, like the universe to do it on that fabric. <laughs> but if I don't, I might do it on like a gold fabric and like subtly do it because I don't want to really change the colors because it's such a pretty, yeah, like just plain black monochromatic, but I am going to start that. And now that I have this one finished, I feel even less guilty. Like, oh, I'm going to start another <laughs> yeah. Blackbird mm -hmm, Beatles pattern, but. But oh. you enjoyed the Blackbirds. This was yeah. so fun to stitch and yeah. I'm loving Strawberry Fields too. And so my plan is, just to stitch them all, like I'm gonna stitch all six of them before I go on any other blackboards patterns. But I stitched this most Sundays since I started it, and I, and then the last week I stitched it every day until it was done. But yeah. I love it so that much. It's really good. I saved the other half of this fat quarter for Octopus's Garden. So um, the so I am doing this. I'm Strawberry Fields Forever. You guys have seen, and then I'm gonna start Blackbird at some point this summer, and then uh, there's also the Long and Winding Road which Megan, the wide-eyed stitcher, is working on, and she's gonna finish hers on a shaker box, like on the cover, and she has a shaker box already for it. So go check her out, it's, uh, her is amazing. And she did so much, like, 
in her first video, she had like half of it done. Oh wow. And then there's um, Octopus's Garden, which I'm gonna do, which is I think the one that is the most popular. Is it? I think it's the one I've seen people do the most, but I'm not sure. And then, what's the, oh, you're doing yeah, Eleanor Rigby. I'm doing Eleanor Rigby. But which she showed on our last, yeah. she made so much progress on her last floss tube update. You didn't work on it this time, but she's doing hers on a 40 count and it's so cute. It's tiny, yeah. Well, and I was it's thinking the one. gold fabric I have is a 40 count. So if I do it on that, mine will be tiny. Oh, okay. But I'm not planning on like finishing them together. And yeah. I'm just kind of with them in different places throughout my house. That'll look great. So, um, uh, I don't even want to put it down. I love it so much. <laughs> How are you going to finish it? This Okay, so on the cover, it's like in an old, plain, like janky wooden frame. And I love that look. Okay. So I'm going to try to do something like that. I might look for a vintage frame. This is definitely going to the state fair. So okay. you will definitely see this as an FFO by August, but probably not in the next few weeks. Right. Because um, I don't have... Them. It's expensive. It's expensive. <laughs> it's different. really expensive. And also, the, that FFO that I did myself, I might... I might want to see if I can find a vintage, not vintage, if I can find a good thrifted frame because I want the beat up look of the frame on the cover. If I can find one, I might try to lace it myself before and see what happens before I decide if I want to take it in. Because yeah. um, if I find a like a $5 busted frame, it might be worth playing around to see if I can get it to do what I want it to do. Yeah. I've gotten fake distressed ones on sale at craft stores before. <laughs> well, that's the thing is, like, I know. You have to wait till it's 50% off, but yeah, even then. Well, and, like, also, like, old. What is old now? Like, if it was made in 2015, I don't think it's old, but it would probably, there's a lot of frames made in, like, 2015 that have enough damage that yeah. would show mm -hmm. what I like. But, um, but anyway, so you guys will see it at FFO in the next few months exactly when, I don't know. Yay. But I am going to finish it in the frame. Okay. And I showed my son, and he's a little past yellow submarine and i'm you know fully beyonce carter or beyonce carter cowboy carter is going to be on my spot of her up there's just no way it's not i'm listening to it three or four times a day so and that won't really let up because i listened to lemonade for like six months like almost exclusively when it came out and this i didn't listen to her last album that much but it was like very clubby but this album is very much like the follow-up to lemonade like just like narratively and stylistically. And she actually wrote it before the other one and then switched the releases because she said we deserved to dance. After the pandemic, people deserve to dance. So she let out her like disco -y club album so people could go dance. Yeah. And now we're being serious again. <laughs> um, so if you don't know, I, don't know. I love Beyonce. I don't listen to Beyonce. Um, <laughs> I should just drop little little uh, breadcrumbs throughout, not breadcrumbs, okay. Easter eggs. <laughs> you wouldn't catch them. I wouldn't know at all. You so. might catch them. We'll see. Um, all right. So that one has been living in this uh, yellow submarine bag yes. by Kat from Whittier Stitches. She made for me. And uh, now this can hold my deadly aquarium cell oh, with yay. no no sharing. Yeah. Oh, and just for reference, I know I've talked about this way too long, but I don't care. Um, I did mine on 28 count. And look how much floss I have left over. I didn't run out of single floss. I didn't need to of anything. I would. I don't have enough floss that I could stitch it again. Um, and some of like the biggest yellow is like. Yeah. But I have so much floss left over. So even on a twenty-eight count, um, you don't need to worry about floss about doing just one, one skein of each. Yeah. yeah. And I stitched oh, it with good. one of my favorite hoops that will now be it's a princess hoop that will now be for the deadly aquarium. Look, I even have my deadly aquarium fabric in it. I just gotta nice. get my floss. And I started that on November 12th. Oh, wow. I did not have been that long. Yeah, because I was only doing about 200 stitches on it a week. Oh, okay. Um, and just kind of, and some weeks I wasn't. And then I stopped and I started Strawberry Field. So I, it was a fast finish for me. But like for you, you would have finished it like three weeks later. Maybe. I have ones from October that I haven't, <laughs> I haven't touched in months. So. <laughs> All right, Allison. Do you have any new starts? I have a restart. <laughs> um, but I can't show you because it's a um, secret stitch. So the Hathaway Stitchers, Erin and Amity, um, are hosting a secret sale. And the idea is that everyone bought the same pattern. It's Garden of Zig by Ink Circles, which you can see. Which is really cool. Over I here. love Ink Circles. I love Ink Circles. I like this one too because it's not a mandala. I don't think I want to stitch a ton of the mandalas except for brown robins. Oh, I would. I would stitch um, all of them. But uh, I love this pattern is so fun. So the deal with the secret sale is they announced it. There's a group chat for it. So if you want to join it, 
reach out to Erin or Amity who are Cozy Town Stitches and Boomerang Stitches on Instagram and they'll be listed in the description um, to be added to the group chat. But um, you buy the pattern. It's due March 31st, May 31st. May 31st. Um, and uh, you have to, you can't do any of the called for. So you have to pick your own fabric and your own floss. And this is the hardest stitch I've ever and done. And you're not allowed to tell anyone. You can't get a pin. Like, knows about stitching apparently. Yeah, you can show your friends, but you cannot show any stitchers. No. <laughs> so like no advice whatsoever. Just pick your own yeah. palette, pick your own fabric. And, and like pray that it comes together. And Amity, is it's a very so experienced hard. stitcher. Erin's a newer stitcher. Emily's very experienced. Emily is a designer. And she designs, and she's also very experienced with color conversions and changes. And I think she's a graphic designer yes. by trade. I don't know if that's, oh, I, don't know. I don't know what her day job is now, but she, I think that's like her background. I feel like she said was something in like design, like for real, not just like, so oh, I'm a designer. So she knows colors. She knows So palette. she's very good but at this. Um, I have done some color conversions on pieces where I didn't love the end product as much as I thought I would. I'm loving my choices this time. I feel like I really, but I thought about it for like a week before I started and then you, you just restarted yours. I restarted it. So I'm using the same fabric and the same colors, except I'm switching their order because I decided that they, they, they looked, they, they looked crazy. The amounts that I was using. Anyway, doesn't matter because you'll see it. You'll in, see it in the, sometime in June. May 31st or after. So, and I kid, this is so much fun. It's I, so fun. It's also very frustrating because you can't show your progress. And we love progress here on Floss <laughs> And I um, missed some days since last time I saw you guys. So I have to do 114 stitches a day, which I'm fine with. Um, I restarted and my I have to do 133.3 stitches a day. So you started yours yesterday? No, I started it. I restarted it this morning. Okay, so uh, if you're Sunday. seeing this, this is coming out Monday. If you decided to start yours on Tuesday, you would need just a little bit more than 133 stitches a day if you wanted to finish by the deadline. Yeah. And also, I think you could just do it whenever you wanted. And then you yeah. just wouldn't be like ready to show yours when everybody else is ready to show yours. But it is so much fun. I highly recommend it. Um, I am 16.3% done. I have uh, 1175. And since the last time we met... Oh, since the last time we met, I stitched 1,350 stitches on Summer Quaker, 1,000 stitches on Yellow Submarine, and 705 stitches on Garden of Zig. So most of my stitching went into those three projects too. So we don't have a lot of other things to show. No, no, I don't. But it's really fun. Is that your only start? Uh, yeah, that was my start. Do you have cool. any start? I have one that I'm very excited to show you guys. So a few two floss tubes ago i think we showed the kittens that we got um cat on creations is by erin from the still city stitchers and she uh gifted us both um a little kitten and I, um okay so normally i show what i keep them in at the end but this project lives in the in it's kitten it's a kitten it's, it's so cute <laughs> um so when you buy it we were gifted it but when yeah. you buy it you order four patterns and then it comes with the little kitten. The pat um, you get four patterns that have full kits. So it came with I always drop stuff. Okay, so it came with the floss, um, a little needle miner, which you don't really need to not mind your needle while you're stitching, but you really use it to hold your pattern up. So she makes the needle miners too, so everybody gets like a different needle miner. But so I have the needle miner, the needle. It came with the floss for this pattern um, is only three. So this pattern just has three colors. I can't show you the pattern, but when I show you it, you'll be, you'll get it. And then it also comes with the tag. If you want to finish it as on a gift tag, it comes with the instructions and the finishing board tag for doing that, um, which is so cute. Yeah, that's so cute. And I, I am trying not to like burn through these patterns because they're very cute and sweet, but really I want to like, I take stitching with me out of the house a lot, right? So if I go to mom and dad's, if I go um, to work, I will take stitching with me if it's like whatever I'm currently working on something. So I'm really saving these for, oh, and it came with uh, scissors too. So I am really saving these for like, I am out about and about and I do not have stitching and I do have downtime. So it just lives in my purse and when um, I find myself with like 15 minutes, like, like I'm at my son's school pickup line and I'm waiting or whatever. I will pull it out. 
And so this is how far I've gotten on my first one. Isn't she so She's cute? She's so cute, yeah. So I outlined the black, so you can see it's a little girl with an umbrella. And then I, this is the only stitching that's not just pure fill-in is this little yellow heart because the rest of the umbrella is red and then the coat is yellow and the boots are red. So now I'm really just down to fill-in. So cute. And yesterday I was like, you know what? I can just finish it and I can show it as a finish tomorrow. Like I can just finish it. <laughs> like, no, like the point of these patterns is to- Emergency stitching. Emergency stitching. And so I don't want to burn through them. Yeah. Um, she comes out with new patterns every season. So I have four for spring. They'll probably last me a little longer than spring. And I bet we could trade patterns um, when we're done with them because they're paper patterns. Sure. But um, I am excited to see what her summer pattern lineup looks like. I don't know if I'll need patterns by then, but it's That's so funny. Cute. I also have this one kitted up in the, my tent, yeah. in my purse at all times. But um, now are you one, like... The one time I got it out to stitch, I had to, I got called back to work. So. But now aren't you like, oh, it's so cute. It is so cute. It is so cute. So whenever I do just naturally finish it, I will then try to finish... I might save it until I have a few of them ready to go on the gift tag. But oh, yeah. Um, I'm not going to show it. Well, I probably will show it every week just because I really like it and because I always have it here. So it's not like special to pack up or anything because <laughs> it literally lives in my purse. It's, in the it's, it's in such the a fun thing to have out. And I also, this is the only thing where it's like, it's not on my whip list. I don't yeah. track my stitches on it. It is purely just like, I need to kill 10 minutes and it's, and I like the feeling of being productive, but I also like the feeling of it's not stressful. This isn't a project. I like, yeah, I and love it. <laughs> it's Ada. Um, I, yeah. you know, I'm stitching it in hand too, which I don't really stitch in hand, but I'm stitching that in hand because it'd be kind of silly to put something that small in a hoop. But mm. anyway, so Erin, thank you so much. And I realized I tagged her in a update picture of it while she was hosting the Steel City Stitchers retreat and she still responded. And I was like, oh, whoa, when I realized it, cause you know, we don't, we live in Oklahoma. We didn't go to, the, not that people don't go to that retreat from all over, but like we didn't go to the Steel City Stitchers retreat. And so I was like, how does she even have time to like see her Instagram <laughs> when she's like running a retreat? So, yeah. um, very cool. Check out, you probably already watched them because everybody watches them. But, um, if, if you like that concept, um, I'll post her Instagram in the description with the, uh, um, pattern name. Well, I, I don't know what the exact pattern name is. It's probably like girl with umbrella or something, but, um, also check out her, the Steel City Stitchers floss too, because they, sh all the girls are tend to have these that they're working on a little bit. So they show them as they're going and I'm excited to see the summer releases. Um, all right. That was my only start. Oh, good. Yay. Okay. Well, we have a lot of stuff to talk about, so this will not be a shorter video, but it does feel funny to have such less stitching. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, whips. What are your whips, Sissy? Okay. I have one whip <laughs> <laughs> because I spent all of March working on Alice. Okay. So this is Cenerentola, which is Cinderella, and I think it's Italian. Oh, Somebody sent me the correct pronunciation. How do you pronounce it? Please tell me. <laughs> it's Shinarentola. Oh, Shinarentola? I mean, I gotta look it back up. But it, okay. it was like the C is a ch, which we, in Italian can happen. Okay. And the accent was on the ren, not the. Shinarentola. But I, I am not. Shinarentola. If you guys watched uh, okay. our most expensive kits video, not books, if you watched the most expensive books video we put out last week, poor Fanny, who's French, she's our friend, uh, Cross Stitch Couture, who lives in France, was so kind and like every two minutes she was being like this is how you pronounce this in french and sending me the so. she but she i was like you're gonna laugh at us so much and she said she was so kind she's like no i learned english i understand <laughs> it is hard to pronounce a language you don't speak like um but uh we love fanny we love fanny <laughs> never feel like like okay so i am a travel writer i've been to 57 countries i speak no foreign languages <laughs> I, I read one foreign alphabet i lived in a foreign country for four years don't speak it Tara and I were actually, um, Tara and I were actually talking about how, um, hard it is to learn Bulgarian because there just aren't a lot of resources. And I was like, I lived in Bulgaria and I still didn't <laughs> learn it. So never feel like correcting our pronunciation. Go ahead. We will never yeah. be offended. Go ahead. Uh, so this is oh. what I worked on. Where, what area did you work on? Okay. I, I did, um, fill in here and this right okay. here. That's so funny. You and I both stitched. Cinderella pumpkin carriages this year. I know when I was <laughs> when I was stitching it, I was thinking of you, honestly. 
But um, because I was I was thinking of you, but I was like maybe a variegated floss would have been a good idea on this. Oh well, not on this because the whole thing isn't variegated. But no, I meant for the whole thing. Oh, the whole thing maybe. Maybe but I like the style of it. I do too. It's like storybook pages. The only of. thing I think you're having a hard time with is what to do about this white shoe because so you the. The carriage is supposed to be in white. The horses are in white. The castle that goes here is in white. And you cannot see the shoe that is here in white. I wonder if so... you found a sparkly Krynik. Nope. I'm way ahead of you. I'm way ahead of you. I mean, that I don't... Krynik is DMC. Dun Dun all. I, okay, so in Bridget Jones' Diary, if you know... If you like Beyonce, you probably also love Bridget Jones's Diary because you are a millennial woman of a certain age. Yes. But um, if you like Bridget Jones's Diary, the mom, when she goes off with that like QVC-ish guy, they they have like a fake diamond that they call Diamante. So that's what, in my head what it is. But I've heard other people say Diamond and I don't know the correct. Okay, I don't know. So either. I'm using the Bridget Jones pronunciation. Okay. So I thought I'm going to try... I'll, I'll take some of the stitches out and put this in and see if it makes a difference. And if it doesn't, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might change it to a very subtle light blue, like the cartoon, which it looks like it's glass, but it's really, it's yeah. a little bit of light blue. I like blue. that idea. So, um, I you don't also know can what just run do. one leg of light blue over your, like, yes, you can just I do can it do over the top, good. the same as the top. Yeah. Um, but that would give it so dimension, but like, so, okay, so on the mirability, some of the advice about the blending filament is to do your bottom leg in your color and do the top leg in the blending filament instead of trying to do them at the same time. Um, but you could do that. You could just run yeah. your top leg with the light blue. I could do that. Um, but I'm, I changed the pumpkin to the gold that's in the already in the pattern. It's so pretty. I'm going to change Oh, the pumpkin the, was supposed to be white? The pumpkin is supposed to be white. <laughs> that's a lot of white in this pattern. There, the whole, like, the whole thing was, like, super white. I love the gold, actually. I, I, do I, never, gold. I didn't think for a second it wasn't the original okay. color. So Well, the Rodgers and Hammerstein TV version of the play, it's a gold carriage. So I'm good. Impossible. Exactly. Impossible. Okay, we're not, I'm not don't cutting sing, it, but I'm not going to sing, sing any further. Okay. Um, <laughs> don't, and sing then, that. don't sing it. There's a castle that goes here that I'm going to turn into a silver. I love that. So. So you're just going to avoid white. I'm going to avoid white. Although I haven't figured out what I'm going to do about the white horses yet. Maybe they'll be gold too. Don't let, maybe they'll be gold. I'm just singing the song in my head. Don't. Oh my gosh. Don't. As long as it's not out loud, we're good. Um, our mother loves the Leslie Ann Warren TV oh, version of Cinderella that, like, uh, the so most. And, it was, you know, we were young before the Brandy version came out, which is the, but it's the same music. So obviously that version is like fantastic too, but that came out, I think when I was like in middle school. Um, so we grew up with the Leslie Ann Warren version of the musical. I'm seeing the musical. Oh, are you going to, and, um, this fall mom got tickets to, I don't know. Okay. Well, we, we haven't talked come. about it. We have to come because it's going to be fun. Yay. Okay. Anyway, this is hand dyed by me. Um, 14 count Ada. And they're all. It's really good. DMCs. Not called for because I changed. They're all the same as the palette, but I changed where they're going, obviously. And that's it. That was my one and only whip. Yay. Yay. Do you have any whips? Um, I do, but like I said, most of my stitching was in the project videos I've already seen. So, and then with Easter and stuff, I just got less stitching done too. Yeah, I forgot. It was so just I only have two whips. I know you're shocked. You just fell on the, like off your chair. You're, I was like, shocked. I handed I her a bath. Shocked. I was like, I only have three things for you to iron today. <laughs> this, and I never do this, but I preheated my iron before she got here and did mine or and started, you know, getting mine ready. Because I knew when she gets here, it's a do, 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 do. And it takes me a while. And she handed me three. And I was like, I did all this prep work. <laughs> Nothing. Go ahead. Okay, so I only have two projects left to show you guys. Oh. So this is Great White Christmas. So um, Amity from the Hathaway Stitchers um, opened her Etsy shop. And um, I bought Great White Christmas like instantly. And... Um, this fabric was just sitting in my stash. It's crazy that this was available. This so this is a uh, 32 count tsunami by Bestitch Me. It does feel a little bit tight for two strands, but one strand didn't look good. 
but it's hand dyed and so it's really like more of like a 34 and it is tight with two strands and one strand is not enough so i ended up having to go with dmc i was really going to do it in white silk but this is just uh b5200 i think um it's very very white so this pattern has a ton of fill in area and in the next two weeks um i'm going to yeah it's just b5200 there's so I many, figured because it was There's so really many white. DMC whites. I was like, yeah. did I pick that or 3865? No, it's 52. I feel like the B52 is the brightest one. Is the yeah. brightest, yeah, for sure. Um, so over the next two weeks, um, I'm going to have a lot of parenting time. I'm not going to go into it. I'll talk about it next time. But for a variety of like crazy... The planets are aligning to make it so that I have zero childcare for about 10 days, like zero, zero for most of it. And then a tiny bit towards the end. But so, um, that's going to cut into, it's not really going to cut into my stitching time because I don't stitch when pe other people are watching my kids. Like it's not like I'm getting a babysitter to stitch, but I stitch at night and I'm going to have to do a lot of the things I do during the day at night. And so it's going to cut into my stitching time. And then I'm doing my top secret project and I have our secret cell. So I'm thinking, there are times during the day when I can stitch if I'm not having to color change or read a pattern. So I want to get down into the part of this pattern that is like right under this is a lot of fill in. Mm -hmm. So I want to outline some of the fill in so I can just be sitting there doing yeah. some fill in while if one of my kids is napping and the other one is actually like playing peacefully or watching videos or like mm -hmm. self contained and I can just be sitting and stitching then I want to have it just be white fill in and that will be so like I may not get in a ton of stitching that way, but like, it'd be nice to have that as an option of like, yeah. oh, well I can just always pull this out over the next two weeks. So I probably will, um, you'll probably see this again in two weeks when I wasn't anticipating this being a piece I worked on much in April. Yeah. I have a funny cat story. This, this is my cat, but this I was Frankie. in the middle of a zoom on Friday with someone and not my cat jumped over my fence and started prancing around on the table in front of my zoom. Not my cat, so I didn't really know what to do. I just kept saying to the guy, "I'm sorry, it's not my cat." It I don't... A, wait, it was a work, it was a work Zoom. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, I don't, I really don't know what I'm supposed to do right now. This is not my cat. It's like if it was Fanny or like a, yeah. a stitching Zoom. Would be no, running. it was a very serious Zoom, and I didn't. It was awkward. Anyway, that was my cat interrupting. That's so. so I can handle that. So I'm almost at the end. So there's only see this design. Half of this design repeats over here. So I'm like six stitches away from this border and then this is the middle so I have to do that over here too but I might skip doing that and just get into the fill in because yeah. if I can get the fill in outline before the no child care situation happens it'll be better absolutely for, but we'll see I, so we'll get more progress and I have I have my so my top secret project I'll talk about in the shop section um but I decided not to show models that aren't for sale updates of models that are for sale at, in like whips and stuff anymore so if something's for sale then i'll go ahead and show it because it's like well i've already released the pattern so me doing the model is not going to change the pattern but if there's no pattern up yet then i'm not going to but um all right so this lives in i'm stitching it with this uh oval duchess hoop and it lives in my harry sews for you it's winter flamingo bag <laughs> which i love um and i'll link to amity's uh store in the description as well um so yeah so my only other whip which is like kind of funny that i'm even showing it is the herbalist sal frame because last time you guys saw almost this whole thing except i had 161 stitches that i had to do down here to finish the words so like you it doesn't feel like i'm showing anything new and i no. showed it on my instagram yeah but i did technically i was like wait a minute i worked on that i was like oh yeah because i had a very small amount of, of the of words. words that needed to be done. Well, you did. Good job. So the next pattern, the next release drops um, on the 15th. Nice. And then the frame for Lola Crow Cross Stitch Deadly Aquarium Style drops on the 12th. So I will try to keep up with both of those. Um, but the next two weeks, I just may not. I'm going to have to prioritize the project as number one. Number two, Garden of Zig, because they have deadlines. Yeah. Number three, a small teacher's present that I need to do for my son's teachers, which are like only 500 stitches each. But, um, so I don't know if, if I'm going to be up on my cells, uh, yeah. next time, but, and then 
a great white Christmas because it's like going to be mindless stitching and I'll need that. And um, for right now, this is actually living in an Amazon project bag, mm -hmm. but it's going to move um, around a little bit. Ah, I might leave it in here. I kind of like the green. I do need to do something about this flaw situation. Yeah. <laughs> Although because it's like small releases, I feel like I might get away with never organizing them too much, but that might drive me crazy too. Cause it's like each, you know how like on the, so this salad is a lot like the witch's garden craft salad we did last year and how like on each one you only use a couple yeah. colors. So it's not like you're switching colors all the time. Yeah. Like, so I don't know. And each one of those little designs gets released a week. So I should be able to keep up with that, but we'll see. Yeah. So those are my whips. <laughs> you never Guys, thought you'd see it. I only come over with the basket that is so full that I have to have more whips than another thing. And when she's putting them down at the end, her pile of whips of bags is just yeah. This not only does it have my whips, it also has our giveaways and my haul in it, Ooh. and it had my laptop in it. I could be with my whole purse in it. That's how little. <laughs> and then that kitchen, one of my projects stays in my purse all the time. So I don't. Guys, it was weird. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but yay, we're doing it. Okay, and you know, I really enjoyed. I used to be a monogamous stitcher, and this month I only worked on three projects, yeah, like all month, and I liked it. I felt focused. I felt like I really was getting project, you know, progress yeah. on stuff, and I might move towards that more. More of a rotation. More of a well, and no schedule or anything. Oh, you like forgot that. to show your what your project your Alice in Wonderland was living in. Oh, okay, so because um, it's so pretty. Well, because it's Zig, it's Garden of Zig, so you can't see. Me oh, back. now you switched it to Garden of Zig. Yeah, because I I finished Alice, and so I was like, well, what am I going to focus on next? And yeah. it's Garden of Zig. So you can't see inside. Look at this beautiful. So I was calling them a project folder, which it is a project folder, but the actual name, the name on the website. It is a stitch and go case by um, Renee from the Golden Familiar. And I love she it so much. Gifted Allison and my mine. Also, you guys will see. I showed you guys the last time, but you guys will see uh, my Mirabilia that's all moved into it during our Mirabilia whip yeah. ride. But it's so pretty. That is, isn't it great? So I can't show you the inside fabric right nope, now. I can't show you. But inside. it's so cute. Top secret. All right. Plans. I've, I know we've talked a lot about plans, but what are your plans? Well, those plans? are my plans. Okay. I'm going to probably start focusing mainly on one piece and then have a couple to go to if I get bored, but it, really trying to do one piece. Do you piece. think that will quiet your mind from needing to do an impulse start? Maybe, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah. Maybe not. <laughs> no promises. Um, Those right. are my plans, so what are your plans? I really just went over them, but it's basically like, I gotta work on my top secret project, which is a series of models that I wanna do for something that only makes sense. It, I could release it at any time. If I didn't get it done till September, I could release it in September. But the best time to release it in the next two years will be this June. So I gotta work on it right now. You had to set that as a goal. You, well, you make your your life more difficult than it should well, I sometimes. There is an external thing happening that aligns yeah, with it that I doesn't know, make but... any sense to like avoid. And I thought it up in March, so it's like, okay. Yeah. So like most of the charts are ready. I just have to get, and I can release the project without everything being charted because the, or being model stitched because the bigger ones don't need a model stitch, but yeah. the little ones need model stitches. Yeah. So I have six things that need little model stitches. Um, and it's then I got to put it all together, but I'm, yeah really happy and excited about it Yay. so it's like worth it so i'm excited um all right so those are our plans plans check um all right so and then that kind of goes right into um i'll go ahead and just do shop news now which is um thank you to people who have purchased things i've also gotten some requests from people for specific places so stephanie oh, from frolin it said um and you this morning um <laughs> Asked me if I'd been to Norway, and I told her in the comments, like, I haven't been to Norway, but I've been to these other cities. So, um, I've had requests for Niagara Falls, which I've been to, Spain, which I've been to, um, another national, uh, Zion National Park, which I've been to. And so, I'm going to sit down, I need, I have to do it on Wednesday, it's the only day I'm going to be able to do it in the next two weeks, and look and chart some of those and see if they will make good patterns. And then some of them ask for them with the idea that they want to buy them and some of the, some of them ask for them because if you buy a pattern, then you do whatever you want with it. 
but somebody some of them asked them with the request of like i'll do it as a model stitch for you which means i would eventually like need to see pictures of it and it would need to be finished at some point so um i'm gonna work on all of those and then if you have a place i've been to, i have not been everywhere but i've been to a lot of places if there's a place that you have been like oh i wish there was a pattern of this place but i don't know feel free to dm me on messenger or message me on etsy dm me on instagram which you'll see here or message me on etsy and say like have you been to this place because some places i've been i don't have chartable photos of but if i do and i've been there and you want to either have me chart it to see if you'd want to buy it you don't have to buy it if i chart it and it's not for you that's fine um or if you would like it and you want to model stitch it because you don't want to buy it but you'd want to model stitch it great and the model stitchers if you if you do all the work and you do you kit it up and everything i don't make you send it to me or anything like i just need some usable photos and i give you instructions on like how to take those photos when it's done because i can't release the little patterns till, the, till i have a model yeah. of them so um and then some people wanted bigger ones so like tell me if there's a place you want and then also do you want it to be a four by six or do you want it to be like an eight by ten do you want it to be six thousand stitches or twenty thousand stitches because some people would prefer the bigger like prettier one and some people prefer a smaller one so let me know and i will be honest if i have them or not and if i do have them that does not put pressure on you to buy whatever i chart it just means i will chart it and then move yours to the front of the line so instead of me going through pictures of like greece or italy and being like well what do i think people would like i'll be like okay well this person wants this specific one so i'll just move it to the front so in shop news our shop is across the globe on etsy allison is working on needle miners to do a needle miner drop yeah um and um that's really all oh if you did buy a pattern and you haven't reviewed it reviews are really helpful if you are not ever going to buy a pattern but you just like watching our floss tube follows are helpful because it shows like it, you know right now we have like 170 people like the shop or 160 oh, people like the shop nice. that means something to etsy just like likes and comments mean something on youtube the more people interact with the shop the better so even if you're like i'm not going to buy a pattern i'm not a full coverage teacher but i like her and i want to just support her following the shop on etsy is a great way to do that so you know subscribing on youtube and following the shop on etsy are both meaningful yeah okay so uh, the next thing we're going to do is stitchy kindness i'm going to go ahead and go first because once we get into the stitchy kindness allison has to show it's going to get a little bit Wild. overwhelming it's going to get a little bit overwhelming and then we'll do haul and you'll so understand in haul when i talk about haul more about what i'm talking talk, you'll understand it better after you see stitchy kindness okay so i i have a really toxic trait where I get really disappointed every time I don't win a giveaway, but I also don't enter giveaways on floss tube very much because I feel like as a floss tuber, I don't want to be like looking like I'm like selfish. I get given things occasionally just for being a floss tuber. And so yeah. like, um, I don't want to like take up space in the, like, I'd like other people to get stuff and I have a, like a large stash. I'm not going to stitch things. So I made a deal with myself that if there is a new stitcher whom I'm watching and I don't think a lot of people are going to enter their giveaway, I will enter their giveaway because it sucks to have a giveaway where only two people are in it, right? And then we know yeah, from experience. It <laughs> so I will enter giveaways because even if 5,000 people watch a floss tube episode, the thing that's been given away might only resonate with like 10 or 15 people. And then that, that people may not come back to watch the follow-up. So I do enter um, giveaways on newer ones or if there's fabric or project bags. Something I really I don't, want. I, yeah, something I really want. Oh, yeah, I did win. Yeah. <laughs> My memory is so bad. <laughs> um, um, but, or if there's an established channel and it's a pattern, the only reason I will enter is if I know I'm actually going to stitch it. And I, um, and on our giveaways, don't worry about any of that. If you just enter, because we love people to enter. But I just personally feel like, and we also like tend to win. Give, like there's I so won. many giveaways in this community. We tend to win yeah. giveaways occasionally because we do. So anyway, so. And I won't enter something I don't want. Yeah. But y'all give away really good stuff yeah. sometimes. So I did win um, a giveaway. So Sammy um, from Sammy J Stitches, her, her floss tube anniversary was. I think on her last one or maybe the one before that. Anyway, so she had like one of those things where she gave away like more than normal and um, I entered on the things I wanted and I won the pattern they come at night, which is um, Luna Moths. It's so pretty. And um, I knew I entered it because I was like, 
if I get it, I will stitch it. But it's yeah. like, I don't know when. Yeah. But then, um, Jem from, uh, I'm blanking on her channel name. I, I think it's Jem Stitches, but I'll link, I'll list it right here. She had DM'd me like after I found out I won or maybe right before and said she was hosting like a market mania for May and um, invited us to join. And I said, well, I'm going to do Mirror May. And because I have all these secret projects, like almost all of my extra stitches go to Mirror May, but I'll start one market piece and I'll stitch it every Sunday instead of starting a piece every Sunday. Mm. And I hadn't ordered anything from Market, so I was thinking like, oh, I gotta get something from Market. And then I won this, <laughs> and this was a Market release. So this was totally fate, it was meant to be. Absolutely. To win a pattern and be invited to do a stitch along for it, like from separate people, Yeah. totally meant you to be. You have to, yeah. So thank you so much, Sammy, I love it. And thank you, Jim, for inviting me to start it. And I'm just, it's so cool. And Sammy J Stitches, she, her floss tube, that's her floss tube name, but she has a online Facebook LNS um, that is called Tiny Hummingbird Stitchery. And if you want to make orders from a online needle workshop from someone where you know uh, that person, like it really all goes into supporting a small business, like, you know, that's a really good one. So you just join it on Facebook and she like, if you tell her you want a pattern, she'll get it. Um, and then also she will if someone says she want they want a pattern, she'll get an extra copy for the for so that her that's how she kind of builds up inventory. I think she got this when she went to market. But anyway, check her out. I love her channel, and she normally she's she's on a break from work right now, so her videos are a little different than normal. But normally she does vlog style. So if you like that kind of nightly, like this is what yeah. happened today style, definitely check her out. Yeah. Um. All right, and that was my stitchy kindness. Mm -hmm. I. You can show the other stitching kind of when it gets here because yeah. it's not here yet, right? Yeah, I'll wait until. Um, but Allison and I both were gifted a stitchy kindness from our friend Katie, the peacock stitcher. Thank you, Katie. Who's one of the first people we met when we started and is so sweet. And, we're, and I always... I'm in a style with her. I forget to tag my... Um, like, that Santa Jaws is an X-Stitch Xmas 365. Absolutely. And I always forget to tag it yeah. lately because it's like spring, so I'm not thinking about it. Yeah. But um, she's like the kindest person. <laughs> and... Um, she made some decisions about what she likes to stitch on and what she doesn't. She decided she is a true Lugana stitcher and she pulled all the Ada and the linen out of her stash and she could have chosen to sell it and no one would have been like, that's crazy. No, it's like, that's normal. Because fabric, fabric is an investment. Yeah, it's um, expensive. But instead she asked us if we want it, especially because you stitch Ada and I stitch linen on Honestly, everything but yeah. full color coverage and very occasionally on something else. And she sent it, and it got here, and I haven't even seen it yet. Other than I'm showing pictures. it to her for the first time. So this is what came, and I did pull out all the Lugana from my stash, and I'm sending it to her because now that I have this much linen, I'm not going to need any Lugana for anything. Um, but I haven't even seen this yet. <laughs> Are you seeing this? It's so and it's awesome. about half and half. Yeah, yeah, I'm extremely excited. Um, let's just, do you want to just say, I, we can't show everything, but like, pull out a couple of random things. Look how beautiful that is. And it's like, it's fun too, because it's from a mix of places. It's a mix of colors. It's somebody else's idea of what they wanted to do. So it's like, you get to test new things. Look at that. Ooh, what's that? Oh, I have, I have this. Um, I'm using my Liz Matthews Quaker tree. Yeah. And it is on this. I love this fabric. I love this color. It's hibiscus from uh, Fiber on a Whim. I like, adore this color. Look at that. Oh, but I don't have it in 36, I have in 28. Oh, that's so Isn't cool. that gorgeous? Hollow Sands Creates. This is cream de mint. Oh, needle bling. I've never, this is so exciting. I've never stitched on needle bling. Oh my God, this is so pretty. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. Like a teal? What is, who's the brand? It's this is like the coolest thing that's ever Stitch happened. Stitch Modern. Oh, Riviera ear. That's so pretty. All right, I'm gonna pull a random one. It's so exciting. Okay. Ooh. Oh my gosh. 32 count. Oh, this is Jackson Fabrics or Tim. This oh. is what I'm doing the Deadly Aquarium style on. Um, in a different color, obviously. Yeah. But um, I feel that's not. Look at this. Oh, this is called Harissa. 
which is that um, Mediterranean, Northern African, Turkish spice that they use and everything. Oh, it's so yummy. This is called Fall. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh my gosh. It's a bestitch me. Oh, I cannot wait. Oh, that's so pretty. I know. I don't treat myself to like anything dyed fabrics very often. Um, so this is just like, and you don't let yourself have a stash. It's so either. nice. I don't have a stash. Um, so this is just, you know what? Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. This is going to be. It was just beyond like thoughtful to send Oof. so much. Um, yeah. But also like she's a very experienced stitcher to see Absolutely. Her. And she has slightly different tastes than both of us because yeah. nobody has exactly the same taste. And so it's so fun to just see like what someone else collected as for their Didn't stash. Have I have it in um linen. But mine is redder. Yours oh, yeah? is like orange and yellow. Mine is like very red and orange. I'm super excited about that. No, one. no, mine is called Fall Foliage. This is Phoenix. This oh. is that's a this I can I'm just waiting for summer. Like this looks like something I would stitch in the summer that would just like make me happy. Oh my, oh. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is crazy. This yeah. is, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, Katie, I, I texted her yesterday, but I was like, I was supposed to go to the post office, but then I didn't get out of my house until after it closed. Um, but I was sending her the Lugana I have. The Lugana I have is a stack that's yeah. like this. It's, it doesn't come close. And, yeah. um, she didn't ask us to trade it. She just asked if she wanted it. I'm like, yeah, and I might as well send you the Lugana because I'm not going to stitch on it if I have this much more fabulous linen. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, Katie, thank you so much. Thank you, Katie. Um, Everyone go watch Katie. She's amazing. And um, she's doing the X-Stitch Xmas 365. So she's, And she's actually keeping up with hers. hers. That is one of my styles that it's, it's become a... Start along. Maybe which you I should really get, didn't want it. Maybe to. you should do some stitching on it. Stitching on it. Yeah, I think I need to do some stitching on it. I because of the I have halted progress in my stockings to do some other to do this secret project, and then when that secret project's done, I think I'm gonna do a hardcore Christmas in July because that Santa Jaws uh, Sal piece. Oh, I forgot to even mention that it's a stitch along with lollipops. Lolly from lollipop stitches mm -hmm. and Erin from Pathway Stitcher. And lollipop stitches is really far. She's yeah. gotten... And she's taking her to stitch north to do fill it and you there know it's going to get... A lot done, yeah. Um, also, you should watch her last video. Did you watch her yeah. last video? Yeah. There is a truly horrifying, bone-chilling, spine-tingling story about how much floss you need for a project and what happens if you don't have it. Yeah. Um, that you need to go watch. We'll link to her. Um... But yeah, so I'm going to do work on that a lot in July, and then I'm going to have to do my stockings in July. So okay. I was thinking maybe I try to do some other Christmas starts that are things I bought at Jingle Ball last year. Just start. Well, I have a December stitches that I'm going to do. Um, love. What's it called? It's super cute. It's like puppies and toys. Oh. Oh, sorry. This is destroyed. One other thing I wanted to mention in plans but forgot. I do want to touch my Easter kit from Al Forest because I want to participate in all the kits April hosted by Washi oh, Stitches. Yeah. And that's like, I was going to try to do more kit stuff, but the secret project came up, but I just got to work on it. Like, it's just inspired to work on it. But I do want to touch that kit, and that's a good a good reason. Well, I could finish my Your Mill Hill. Hill. If oh, I just could, picked it up once, so you I bet I could do all the kits it. April and X was 365 in one I little piece. Do it. And also get a finish. Yeah, you should and get that. a finish. You should do that. I should. Okay. All right. Let's put it on the goals. Okay. It's on the it's goals, on guys. on the goals list. Let's do it. All right. Haul. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think if I have any haul. I do. I do have haul. Um, where did I put it? Okay. I bought all the beads. Oh, for, your bead pack. Yeah, I bought the bead pack on eBay for Lady of the Flag, the Mirabilia I'm starting for Mira May. Um, and I have no idea Is what I do with them. All right, she's back with her haul. <gasps> Ta-da! Embellishment packs for Lady of the Flag. Eight packs of them. beads. That's a lot of beads because it's a lot of beads. Okay, you know it's a lot of beads because a lot of these packs are duplicates of the same bead, not like 10 of each bead goes yeah. on there and you end up with a lot of leftover beads. No, 
three of them are duplicates. I will be curious if I do end up stitching it, which I bet I will after watching you stitch it for six months, I probably will want to stitch it. Yeah. How many of those are left over and how many I have to find? I don't know. I got these on eBay. Um, and it was like not a bad price. Though. It was a very good price um, because I did look at one, two, three stitch, but then I was like, but it's a whole bag. And I was, yeah. You know, so I'm happy. I, I'm really happy I found that. Um, and you got the Krynik for it? And I bought the Krynik. It's not here yet, but I pulled the trigger and bought all the Krynik. Um, I went to the craft store and I got all the DMC. And I'm having a bag made from Guys. Jasmine's Custom Bags has agreed. Jen has agreed to make me a bag that I picked out the fabric. I'm not going to spoil it, but... Um, That's how exciting it's about this. my very first project bag that I've ever bought, and I'm having it custom made because let's be extra. And yeah. uh, I'm super excited about it because I figure like this is like on this is a special stitch for me, especially since my husband is like that's the best pattern I've ever seen in my life. I'm like that's a yeah. lot of pressure. <laughs> and you talked about it a lot in the video yes. we'll put out next week, so you don't have to repeat yourself right. too much, but. I'm very happy for you. Thank you. So, yay. yay. That's my, that's my haul. Oh, wait. Okay, so, um, I don't have a ton, but I did get my Bestitch Me. Actually, I think this is the only thing I have is my Bestitch Me fabric of the month and threads of the month. So, I'll show you them. Okay, so, this is a uh, Gold Rush, which was the neutral. And it's, um, I have been getting the... But stitch me in 40 count. And then the color was avocado. So that's also 40 count. It's really pretty. It's really pretty. And then the threads of the month. Um, this one is called springtime. So these were all for March. So I'm not spoiling April. These are all for March. Um, and then the variegated. I really like them. And, uh, all right. So... I took a hard look at my fabric. I always told myself I would stop buying so much fabric when I filled up my fabric box. They're not really filled because I have more than one fabric box because they're separated by count or whatever. And I took out my Ada Lugana box is now like half empty. However, once I add all that to my two linen boxes, because I have a box that's just 20 account and then I have a box that's like all the other counts, but then I've been buying more other counts. Originally, I was thinking like, okay, well, I'll switch my Bestitch Me to like 32 or 36 because I'm like, now I'm kind of stocked up on 40 and I'm very stocked up on 28. And I really like stitching on 32 and 36. Um, but now that I'm adding all that fabric to it, I just was like, you know what? I need to quit the Bestitch Me fabric of the month club, which makes me sad because I really like it. It's a very good club. I feel like I get a lot of value. But I have fabric pulled for almost every project I'm starting for the rest of the year. And then I have two boxes of fabric. So I don't need to be buying any more fabric right now. And at some point, like like said linen or something will come up that's like available that's like never available or like a cotton and a color and cotton pre-order or something will come up and I'll want to try something new. And so it's time to like pause beside me. So when I if I get to the point where I'm like have used up a lot of it and I need more of a certain count or whatever, then I'll join the Stitch Me again mm -hmm. or another fabric club down the road. But I really like the Stitch Me's club. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of value that you get with the Stitch Me's club because you also get, um, you can be in the Friday night fight nights and buy ready to ship without being in the club. But if you're in the club, you also get a discount on patterns. So it's kind of nice because it's like getting a discount to an ONS, an online needle workshop. So I always go look and see if patterns that we want are available with her first. Mm. But I also don't need any more patterns right now. Mm. So I'm like, okay, it's time to stop. And I'm very sad about it. But I, ha I just like, I can pull almost any pattern in almost any count. I have something that would work. And if I don't, like the Deadly Aquarium style I'll need something very specific, well, then I have to go buy something anyway. It's not like, uh, like... You know, I could get a hundred pieces of fabric and not be able to kit up every single thing, but I can kit up most things. Mm. So I'm gonna, I'm pausing it. I didn't pause it. I had to quit it. I like, I emailed her. I was like, I have so much of this fabric built up. I have to like use some of it, and it's, it's sad because I do look forward to that package every month. It's really exciting, but I'm gonna stay in the Oak Crown Studios Fabric of the Month Club. It's a lot smaller, and I've been in it since the day that it started. 
Um, and those are really always fun, very colorful, like good for like fancy ladies type stuff. Um, and I really like supporting uh, that club is run by Fibers Amy. And it's just a much smaller club where I feel like I'm, I want to continue to stay in that. So I'm still going to get one piece of fiber. So you don't have to like feel too bad for me. Um, I don't know if anyone feels bad for you. No, but um, mm. I am just like, I am just quitting. I, I'm sad about it. So you won't see any more of a stitch me fabric, but um, haul for a while. But, but uh, there's show it. a lot of a people. Lot of it you're well, using. people like see, I like seeing what the fabric of the month is on different oh. clubs that I'm not in. But a lot of people show me stitch me. It's not like. I'm the only person that was showing that fabric. But anyway, so there'll be uh, less haul for a while because we really are stashed up on most projects for the foreseeable future. Other than like random things. I know. This summer, if we get into that class at the Silver Needle, we'll pro I'll probably buy some stuff in July there, but I'm, I don't need any new patterns. Unless I'm like gonna start a project like Unless I'm buying a pattern to start a project, I don't need any new patterns right now. So, or if um, if somebody wants to sell me uh, touching the autumn sky or oh, right. piece for like ten dollars, right. then like I would also buy those. <laughs> I mean, why not? Um. All right. So that was haul. Yay. All right. So now, okay. So now we get to the fun section of today's video. So we're gonna so we hit 3,000 subscribers, which is crazy. Feels very crazy. <laughs> um, so we're gonna celebrate that. We have we talked last time about like what we're gonna do. First, I want to announce the winner for the flower mason jar kit because we forgot to announce it. We we forgot to pull it last time, so I pulled it last night. The winner for the flower mason jar kit um, is thread dot needle dot scissors stc. L9537, you're seeing it here. DM me on Instagram, and here is my, um, whenever it's done showing the winner, I will post my Instagram. DM me on Instagram, that's the easiest way to get a hold of me. However, if you don't have Instagram, reply to, um, comment on this video with that username that you don't have Instagram, and then I'll figure out another way for us to contact each other. Um, so congratulations for winning that giveaway. And then um, today's giveaway, so to, Thank you guys for investing and subscribing and spending time and commenting, telling and people and sharing and being just the most generous community. Um, we have Talking pulled um, patterns that we think every, I mean, we don't think everybody will like every pattern. That would be impossible. But we think there is something for almost everyone. Um, if you only stitch Halloween, there may not be something for you. But if, if, um, and there's a lot of like older patterns in here too, but all right. So the first we're gonna do is, um, we're gonna do this with a keyword. So in your comment, if you wanna win one of these, use the keyword that I attached for, I say for that one, you can enter more than one, you can enter all 10 if you want, but you have to use the keyword in order for the keyword comment picker to find you. Um, don't say giveaway, don't say contest, don't say winner, don't say anything that will trigger trolls. And I did have to ask someone last time to change their comment. And then I hid the comment to wait for them to fix it. And now I can't unhide it. So I have to figure that out oh. because they did change it. They were so nice and they just changed it. But if you, if you're like excited, use the word celebration over the word giveaway winner or whatever. Um, and if you, oh, if you won the last giveaway, if you're that person, don't say one. You say, yeah. um, <laughs> I don't have an Instagram. <laughs> yeah, say, I don't have an Instagram. Celebration, celebration, celebration. <laughs> um, all right, so use the words that we say, the keywords, and we're going to save the best, the out of print mirabilia for last. Um, all right, and I have 10 patterns. Okay, number one is uh, Enchanted Alphabet by Lavender and Lace. This is not technically out of print, but it does go for a little bit more on the used because it is hard to find. And we just, I happen to get a duplicate from Lilani um, sent, when she sent us those wonderful, sweet, uh, stitchy, kindness. stitchy kindness. And I said I would get um, the extras that were not gonna stitch into people's hands and this was duplicate. So if you want Enchanted Alphabet, use the word Enchanted. All right, number two. And I really like this one. 
Are you sure I'm you not want to give it away? I'm not going to stitch it, but I think it's, it, huge. <laughs> it's, it's worth stitching for someone so, who, who can stitch that much. This is Lavender and Lace Peace Angel. And I went, I think it's the nightly stitcher who stitched this. I went back and looked at her videos. I couldn't find if it was her, but I think she did stitch it. Um, and it, whoever stitched it on floss tube that I saw, it is stunning. So use the word peace. All right. So lavender and lace, angel of hope. Ooh. Which is also really beautiful really beautiful and for those that have not watched our videos before lavender and lace they're not technically out of print they are getting like the person who's supposed to be reprinting them does not respond to emails though so like this is i think you can order this from one two three stitch but they're getting harder and harder to get um as like people sell out of their stock and this person doesn't respond but at some point the market might get full of them again um use the word i'm oh, sorry use the word hope if i didn't say that already um, and Lavender and Lace is by Mar Marion Levitt Emblem, who is uh, Nora Corbett's mom. And now speaking of Nora Corbett, so we said we give away the three imprint mirabilias that we got in that stitchy kindness. So this is Titania, Queen of the Fairies. So for this one, use the word queen. When I'm editing tonight, I'm going to need to write down what were those words. So yeah, I'm for real. Okay, this is... T for three for T. This is three for T. And these are all in print mirabilias. So if you don't win, but you just fell in love with it, you can go find it. Um, and for this one, use the word T, T E A. And then this is one that I already had a duplicate of in my stash that I really love. This is a Midsummer Night's Fairy. And if you know Shakespeare, um, in A Midsummer Night's Dream, which A Midsummer Night's Fairy, uh, Titania is the queen in A Midsummer Night's Dream. And then Nora Corbett also has a Shakespeare's Fairies one that's like a bunch of fairies in a row. Oh, yeah. But I think, I think Sully Stitches had it up one time. But anyway, if you want this one, use the word night. Okay, now for our non-fancy lady stitchers, but still like a little old timey looking. This is Little House Needleworks. This is really cute. Um, it's called the Mercantile. And it, it's just kind of like an old West style store. It's really cute. Now, I'm always shocked because they look so tiny. And I'm always shocked when people stitch them that they stitch up so big. Um, this is 90 by 145. Oh, it's not that big. It's not that big, but in my head it's a small. And that's, it's, I mean, but it's not really a small. I mean, that's going to be a big, big house. Like... Uh, not huge, but it's not, it's Houses not as, there are a lot of stitching. It's yeah. not as tiny as it looks. Okay. Yeah. For my coffee lovers, this is Little House Needleworks E Old Coffee Shop. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Let's go back. For, um, the mercantile, mercantile is kind of a hard word. Why don't you use the word, um, pots, which is the first word in the sentence. P-O-T-S, pots. Okay. So. <coughs> For ye old coffee house, we're obviously going to use the word coffee. Um, I'm not a coffee drinker. I'm a Diet Coke drinker. You drink coffee. Yeah. Um, but I, uh, so this would go to waste in my house because just what yeah. I um, Oh, it says serving the official beverage of the colonies, which I lived in Philadelphia. If I lived in, still lived in Philly, this would be kind of yeah. fun. But, um, all right, so coffee and then... Um, for my Prairie Schooler lovers, this was originally from, oh, a place called That Special Touch in Norman. Was there a needlework shop in Norman? Apparently there was. Oh, that's breaking my heart. Okay. This is um, DEF by the Prairie Schooler. This is an original cardstock Prairie Schooler booklet. Watch out. There's a pattern uh, on the back. Number 99. And it's got... It's got a lot of patterns. So, And I really do like it. I wouldn't stitch it because I have too much on my plate. But it's really cute. Yeah, and some of these, like, so some of these bigger motifs, too, could be, you could just stitch the flowers, you could just stitch the scissors. Um, but I have so much Prairie Schooler that I want to stitch that I'm not going to get to this one and this one. I don't stitch a ton of, like, needlework-themed stuff either. So, some, like, D is for drum is really cute, not needlework thing. But this E is for embroidery, like, my husband, if I stitch only, like, 
until I get a craft room, there's not really a place in my house for needlework themed stuff. Because can you imagine? I'm like, the house is full of cross stitch. I'm cross stitching all the time. And then all the things on the wall are like, <laughs> you know, yeah. needlework or stuff. That'd be hilarious. So for this one, use the word, um, nah, needle. Just needle. I don't know why. Needle. Too late to change it. Okay. And then last time I said I would give away an out of print mirabilia that I had a duplicate of in my stash. So I'm stitching this um, and I love her. It's Fairy Flora. So when Fairy Flora got retired um, in the Mira group on Facebook, uh, they announced like, oh, she got retired. Go buy her if you want her. And I was like, oh, I just been looking at her as like one I might want. So I did go buy her, but I was afraid that it wasn't going to show up. So I bought her from two places and they both showed up. And then the next time one went out of print and I wanted it, I did, I only bought it from one place because I was like, well, last time they both showed up and then that one didn't show up. So you never know, but I don't need to hold on to two copies of Fairy Flora and I don't need to sell her for like a profit, like when I only bought her for $15, like, so we'll give her away. Um, I'm doing a sale called the Fairy Flora Retirement Sale with Rachel from Looking Floss. She just pulled hers out again and she's up in the bodice and it looks so good. Nice. And I'll be pulling my Fairy Flora out again for Mir May. So um, you have time if you win this to, if you if you were the winner of this and you watch our next floss tube like right away and give me your address right away, you have time to get this in time for Amira May, any of them. Uh, if you win Amira and you find out and you get it to me ASAP, I can get it in the mail ASAP. So um, this is MD number seven, came out in 1994. She's gorgeous. Mm. She's also, and she only takes the fat quarter. Like, it's a tight on a fat quarter, but on 28 count, she is a little tight, but it still fits on a fat quarter. Okay, so those are our 10 giveaways. Hopefully, there's something that sparked your interest. Leave a comment. Thank you. Oh, Fairy Flora, the word for Fairy Flora. Let's do oh, right. uh, Flora, F-L-O-R-A, Flora. You know what I wasn't even thinking when I started her, but no. you know how mom loves Sleeping Beauty and would call, like, assign each of us the, because she has three daughters, so. Yeah. Flora, oh, Fauna, right. and then our other sister. And she would give us little, like, so mine was Flora. Flora. <laughs> yeah. So I don't, I, I wonder if that's why I subconsciously I was drawn to her in the first place. Maybe. Like, she's me. Yeah. If I was a fairy. Yeah. Um. All right. So, into the giveaway. Whether you want to enter the giveaway or not, if you made it to this point in the video, I, look, Allison, I picked out an emoji. Oh, well, I was going to ask you if I could use mine. Oh, okay. What's your... <laughs> I picked that one, too. Okay. Okay. For the little giraffe. Oh, okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay. A little giraffe. A giraffe emoji. Is there a giraffe emoji? There is. Okay. I checked. Okay. <laughs> if you made it to this point in the video, our secret language that you made this far will be uh, leave a giraffe emoji in your comment or in a separate comment. Um, guys, we are so appreciative. We are forever grateful. We cannot pay this community back enough. It's been so much fun. Um, like, every time we've we post met, something, it's more and more. Yeah. Like more interactions, more connections. It's just. I'm getting deep into this world and it is so great. And I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna get political here, but I do wanna say I've seen some things going around where people are saying that they've had some bad interactions on Floss Tube. Um, either with viewers and they make videos or on Instagram or just different things. You don't know what's going on in people's lives. This is our craft. We share a lot about our lives, but this is our craft. This is for hobbies. This is to connect as people who have a mutual hobby, let's continue to be as kind and loving to each other as we have been thus far. Right. And anybody that's not, I just delete it because I don't have time for that. And I've also, I've lived as, a, not because I'm a travel blogger, I've lived online for a very long time and so I'm very hardened to it. So you're not gonna phase me with a like, how could you buy that fabric? Or like, <laughs> how can you sit? You're not gonna phase me, I've seen it all. Like I've gotten in like troll wars with people about, which Eastern European provinces should be like belong to which country. Like I'm not going to get phased by like a fiber arts comment, but be as nice to each other and to everyone as you guys are to us. And if you're not nice to us, I'm just going to delete it. And yes. then well, I That's won't fine. even tell her about it. So, no. um, but we love you guys. Thank you so much. And, um, yeah, that's all. Bye. Bye.